Types of brake and steering systems, working principles of drum and disc brakes, objectives. Understand the working principles of a brake system, identify different types of brake systems, identify various components of brake systems, understand the working principles of a steering system, identify different types of steering boxes, identify various components of steering box and its linkages. The steering system. The type of steering layout depends on the suspension system. The beam axle used on heavy commercial vehicles has a kingpin fitted at each of the axle and this pin is the pivot which allows the wheels to be steered. Cars have independent suspension. This system has ball joint to allow the wheel movement. Power assisted steering. Power assisted steering systems use hydraulic power to help the driver turn the road wheels when the steering load exceeds normal. Types of brakes. Drum brakes, disc brakes, drum brakes. These types of brakes have two shoes anchored to a stationary back plate which are internally expanded to contact the drum by hydraulic cylinders or a mechanical linkage. The end at which the shoe is anchored affects the retarding force it applies to the drum. The rotation of the drum gives a self-energizing action called the self-servo which causes 1. Leading shoe to be forced towards the drum 2. Trailing shoe to be forced away from the drum the leading shoe is the first shoe after the expander in the direction of rotation. Disc brakes. Exposed to the air, disc brakes radiate the heat to the air better than drum brakes. This means that the brake can be operated continuously for a long period as they have a greater resistance to fade or in other words fall off in brake efficiency due to heat. This fade resistance and features such as automatic adjustment make the disc brake a popular choice for the front wheels of a car. A vacuum servo fitted to the discs boosts the effort applied by the driver. Adjust handbrake and replace handbrake cables and adjust clutch and brake pedal. Objectives Adjust handbrake for effective handbrake application. Replace handbrake cable if old cable found to be out of adjustment range. Adjust the free play of a clutch and brake pedal to recommend free play range. Components Show the components of handbrake cables. Removal Remove the console box. Loosen the adjusting nut and detach the parking brake cable. Detach the parking brake switch assembly. Remove the wheel and tire. Remove the brake drum. Remove the brake shoes as outlined before. Detach the parking brake cable from the brake shoe. Remove the rear seat cushion assembly and roll up the carpet. Loosen the parking brake cable clamp and remove the parking brake cable assembly. Inspection Check the parking brake switch operation. Check the parking brake lever ratchet for wear. Check the parking brake cable for fraying or damage.